Um, I'm often asked, what are the medical treatments that people can engage in for their alcohol problems? Um, there are a couple of medications that can be used for people with alcohol use disorders. One of them is called Antabuse. Antabuse is a medication that's, that people take each day um, and that it, is, it's, it comes in two different doses. And what antabuse does is it's a, it creates an aversive reaction to alcohol. So if people drink when they're taking antabuse, they'll have a physical reaction. Th that can range from getting um, very red in the face and their bodies turning red, getting very sweaty, or actually getting and feeling nauseous or vomiting. And that can be, again, the, uh, the idea behind that is that it's so aversive that it, it causes people to really not want to drink. It stays in one system. It can stay in one system for several days, even if you stop taking it. So if someone stops taking, stops taking the medication and they may drink that next day, they may still and most likely will still have some adverse effect. Of course, just like any other medication, as it washes out of your body over time, the adverse reaction will, will become less and less and then go away. Um, another medication that's used is called naltrexone. Naltrexone is given, and what we've seen in naltrexone is that what it does, there's not an aversive, any aversive reaction to naltrexone whatsoever. What it does do with some people, not all, is it, see, it helps people with their craving of alcohol. So often what happens for people, we talk a lot about triggers that people have. So people may get triggered to drink because they walk by a liquor store or they walk by a restaurant or bar. And then what happens is that triggers a craving where they feel sometimes in their body, you know, they want that they want alcohol really, really badly. And that often often causes them to start drinking. So often people describe taking naltrexone and that and not having that craving, or if they do have that craving, it's uh, it's much um, less in magnitude than it is when they aren't taking the naltrexone. And those are really the two major medications that we now use for people with alcohol problems.